Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch gameplay commentary. I am inside of Mummy's tummy, and yep, you did hear that right. I'm inside uh, the mum of all of the fairies, including old Drippy here. Uh, it's his mum, and look at him! Look at him doing roly polies all over the place, <laughs> bouncing up and down inside of Mummy's tummy. Yeah, the game's taken a bit of a turn to the more weird direction. Uh, basically, we've gone inside of a big fairy mummy person uh, to try and find out why all the little ones aren't getting born, essentially. And uh, there seems to be a bunch of classrooms here. Can I actually go in them? Oh, I can. <laughs> it's weird to have doors and rooms. Oh, look at this place. Oh, it's like a little nursery. Find out what's stopping the little e's from being born. Who are you? You don't look like a little e. Crrr! Nasty, nasty beastie! <gasps> M Mr. Trippy, look! Oh, Nickers, if we don't do something quick, this rotter's gonna make himself a little e omelette. We have to save him. Oh, oh so, so it's an evil person. What are these dinkies? Dinky A, Dinky B, and Dinky C. <laughs> Feel like I'm learning the alphabet. All right. Okay, go on. Go on, Fruity. Sort out the dinkies. Don't worry, they're only dinky. Oh, no, Fruity's not very effective against them. Right. Nanas, upgrade. You're up. Go on, what can you do, mate? There we go. Give him a good old whack for me. Bit of health down here as well. Um, I could use, I use my old roly poly against them. <laughs> I take a leaf, a leaf out of Drippy's book doing the old roly polies. Even though it's like the worst roly poly ever. Right, they don't, they don't seem uh, too strong. I think I need to sort out a bunch of my f familiars yet. I think I need to probably rearrange them a bit more and try and, I, I don't know, like maybe switch them around a bit. I think I can metamorph a load of them as well. I might actually do that now so I can start uh, leveling them up in the belly. And then if there is a boss later, hopefully they'll be strong enough. And oh look, there's a little one. Are you okay? Ta, ta, ta very much. Oh, he's so sweet. Oi, Lily, what happened to you by ear anyway? Nasty, nasty, proper nasty. What's that? No, never. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. There is terrible. The fake care center has been invaded. Horrible beasties have turned up and they've been bullying all the lilies, the rotters. That's awful. We have to help them. Please, man, please. Please, please, please. Of course we're help you. Goes without saying, ain't it? I'm just wondering how these beasties got in in the first place. Could he have made it all this way to the fairy ground? Should I? It's possible, I suppose, yeah. But if he's made it past mum... Judging by what he's saying, him doing the storm, I don't think getting past your mum would be much of a challenge. It doesn't matter how they got in. What matters now is saving the littlies. You are right, Esther? Oi, you, stay by here where it's safe, right? Oh, look at the little cute one. Nah, man. Wait, man. Nah, 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 nah. Wait, 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 wait. Didn't you hear him? Stay here, he said. But look at him. We can't just leave him here. He's terrified. We have to take him with us. But we're off bashing beasties, ain't it? It's not safe, man. It's safe by here. Scary, scary, proper scary. Oh. Don't be scared, you'll be fine. I guess it's kind of dangerous to leave him here too, huh, Mr. Drippy? Flipping egg man, all right. Come on then, you. We'll look after you. Yes, come with us, Mr. Lee. Tidy, let's go. Tidy, tidy. Coo, ga, coo. <laughs> The Little E is now following you. Oh, jolly good. Oh, look at him go. Oh, look at the little leg bouncing around. <laughs> doing, doing, doing. Oh, this is awesome. I am absolutely loving the game right now. I mean, I've enjoyed the whole game. I mean, it's had its ups and downs. There's a few bits where it probably got a bit too combat heavy and that. But now I'm getting into parts like this. I'm just playing the game with a constant smile on my face. This is awesome. And look at the little Little E bouncing behind me. <laughs> cool, cool, go. <laughs> to be fair, Drippy ain't even much bigger than him, is he? Here we go. Here we go, Wally boy. The tulip room. All uh, right, go on. Let's go in. Here we go, Wally boy. The tulip room. Go on, let's go in the tulip room. Then let's stop chatting about it. Yeah, I know. Come on, you can let me get in. Why can't I go in the room? Yeah, I, I, Drippy, you get out the way and you stay out of this. Okay, looks like I can't go in the tulip room for whatever reason. I don't know why. All right, let's go into this one. This is the violet room, Ollie boy. What? Do you think it was going to be purple or something? I don't know what's not letting me actually go into the rooms. Um, do I have to use, like, spring lock or something? Well, I think I do. No matter what, Wayne's going to get this door open, Ollie boy. Let's start with the rooms that are unlocked and take it from there, shall we? 
Uh, okay, so I guess there's just some rooms that are locked. This one doesn't have a sign on it, so I guess I can get into this one. <laughs> and oh, look, there's people sitting around. I thought I was going to have to do a bit more fighting. Why aren't you guys helping the littlies? Trippy man, what are you doing, boy, here? Okay, well, <laughs> why didn't you help all the littlies? <laughs> Don't start with your tray now, man. I'm on a break, ain't it? All right, well, you guys are pretty useful. Quickly! Right, here we go. I might as well get all my health and all that up and save my progress. <laughs> I just love the fact that inside the, the tummy of this big mummy, there's all these little rooms and little classrooms and stuff, all the little fairies. Lend me your ears a sec there, Ollie boy. There's something that I've got to tell you. What's that, Mr. Drippy? Those steps by ear, they're an emergency exit out of Mum's gut. We can call them the back passage, see? The back passage? That's right, man. So if you ever need to get out of Mum's guts in a hurry, just nip up those stairs. Uh, sure, but what's to stop the littlies doing the same? Don't be daft, man. They ain't baby steps, are they? Way too high for the littlies, they are. Now, the back passage will take you straight to the fairy ground, so you can come and go as you please, ain't it? Huh? So we could have just used them to get in here in the first place? Well, yeah, I, I suppose. But where's the fun in that, man? Always been one for grand entrance as me. Got my reputation to think of, ain't it? Jeez. <laughs> so all of that malarkey about getting the arts and making the comedians make her laugh so we could go in through the cannon, that was all just for show. We could have just walked through the back passage. Well, that's, that's useful. Proper useful, ain't it? <laughs> and hello. I'm assuming you're some sort of evil googly, but <laughs> what a ridiculous thing to fight. Right, come on, you big greeny old man sea lion. <laughs> oh no, another one. Quickly, Ollie boy, we've got to save those little ins. All right, let's take out this, whatever this thing's called, uh, a splisher, and then there's an airhead there as well. Um, right, let's let's send out, let's send out Fruity. It seems like everyone I send Fruity against, like right now, doesn't do much. Um, let's cut loose because I think that attacks all of them at the same time, and as he's getting a bit more powerful, it might actually be worth doing. There we go. That's just hurt all three of them, and they're all like almost dead now. I still do, as I said, need to properly learn about combat and how to rearrange my familiars and that. Like, for, for most of it, it's fine. Like, I'm just happy just whacking them until they die and not <laughs> worrying about it. But I'm sure as the game gets harder as I progress and I come against more bigger beasties and bosses that it's going to be a bit more crucial that I understand a bit more in-depth all the different, like, moves and stuff. Ouch, man! Ouch! <laughs> oh, I got three more little littlies following me. Oh, these things are so cute. <laughs> Can I speak to one of them? Drippy! Drippy! <laughs> oh, they love him. Ouch, man! Ouch! Okay, let's, let's go get some more of them, shall we? <laughs> Tidy! Looks like the door to the tulip room's come unlocked. Uh, that was the, the one right over here, wasn't it? Why do I have to go in this really particular order? And look at all of the little ones following behind me. Here we go. I can get in the tulip room now. <laughs> Gonna be another familiar. Oh, a massive stingray. And look at the little tent they got in there with, like, the mouth and the eyes. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard a stingray make that sound before. A hooray! <laughs> a hip-hop hooray. Right. Go on, then. Go on, Fruity. Uh, I guess flaming won't help. Uh, I think I might use cut loose again. That seemed to work really well last time. As long as it's not, like, really ineffective against them. Could be pretty handy. There we go. Look at that. Had some proper good damage. I know it didn't. I think these guys are, are really strong. It didn't actually hurt them that much. All right, let's, let's use smash it against one of them. I think I should probably be saving a bit more of my magic, to be honest. I'm assuming there's got to be some big boss or something coming up. So I probably want to save as much health and magic and supplies and that for that. Uh, but yeah, I seem to be dealing with them. Uh, relatively quickly. I mean, as I said, I have quite a lot of big breaks between this game, so uh, normally it takes me a while to get back into playing again, so uh, hopefully I'm I'm picking it up okay and uh, any experienced Nino Kuni players aren't getting uh, annoyed by my newbie way of playing. Right, I've got a whole bunch more. Tidy! Looks like the door to the daffodil rooms come unlocked. Right, which one's that? This isn't daffodil, this is violets, isn't it? Yeah, okay. L at least he tells me which one unlocks once I've gone through. So that's Rose, I think. I think I've already done that one. What I might do quickly is see if I can um, see if I can metamorph one of my familiars. Uh, who do you I think I can metamorph, like, most of them. Okay, none of my main three can. Uh, but he he's quite cool. I like this guy, Ponto. I might metamorph him. Uh, which one does he need? I think it's uh, this one? No. Nope. Do you want one of these? There we go. Have a, have a sun drop. Oh, look at him. He gets, like, fancy marks on his face. 
Go on, Ponto. What I might do is, like, metamorph them one at a time. So I'll metamorph one of them. Wait until I've leveled him up, then metamorph another one so I don't get too underpowered. And look at him! <laughs> he look, he's a lubber cub now. <laughs> oh, he looks pretty awesome. He looks a bit drowsy, actually. I think he might want some sort of snack. What should I give him? Uh, he's got quite good evasion and accuracy. Um, so I might do something to get that up. I get his evasion up. I give him a nice ice cream. See if that cheers him up. There we go. And he loves me and everything. Jolly good. <laughs> go on. You can have something else as well, seeing as you're here. You can have uh, have some, some salted ice cream. Really? People eat that? People have salt on their ice cream? There we go. He, he seems to be going up really quick. I've actually got loads of treats, and I never bother giving them to my familiars. Uh, I, might go, I might go and spread some out to some of them now while we're here. Um, right, what does Fruity? Fruity's got crazy good attack, so um, I might as well put his attack up. Like, I kind of want them all to be quite specialised. I'm not worried about making them all good at everything, because, because you can switch between them so quickly. I don't think it really matters. So if you have one that's really good at physical attacks, one that's really good at magic, one that's really good at, like, being fast and evasive and that, like, old Nana's here. Um, yeah, I think that should be okay. So if I get his accuracy up and his evasion up, uh, that should be quite good. I'll give him a, a few salted ice creams. There we go. <laughs> I don't want him to get jealous, you see. If I feed one, I feel like I've got to feed them all. Otherwise, the other ones are going to be looking on, going like, oh, why is he Stampy's favourite? <laughs> all right, little Wink, I haven't forgot about you. You can get your, your magic up. There you go. Get your magic defence up with a wild flyer Sunday. And then I think I'll give you a normal Sunday as well to get up your normal magic. And it went up by two points as well. It's really worth doing this. Like, for something that... I don't normally bother doing and I always forget about. Uh, it's quite worth doing. I think there's a lot of things that I haven't really explored, like switching out my familiars and all the alchemy stuff as well. I never really bother with any of that stuff, like making all sorts of potions and magical stuff. Like, I'm not bothered with that at all. Right, I'm not going to go through all of them. i just stick with my ones for now. I might uh, give some treats outside of a video because it does take quite a while. <laughs> and yeah, let's go into a another classroom. Was like a big dragon thing here. This is a bit of a weird one. So it's like a snake. Did you hear it hiss? Right, let's go up against it. So is that a plezzy? Is that what it's called? I might send out Little Wink. I think Little Wink has some sort of lightning attack. Oh no, he doesn't. Right, forget that. Do, do I have a lightning attack? I, mean, I never really play as Oliver. I think I should do it a bit more. Uh, I might, I might use Pulse against one of these guys. Might be quite effective. Uh, then I guess I'll just. Uh, switch back to old Fruity and let him finish them off. Right, when I'm against all of these these water people, Fruity's not all that useful because his only magic moves fire. Oh, no, look, there's, there's health down there. Oh, looks like Go-Go got it. These guys are pretty tough, actually. And, like, we always kind of outnumber them. Well, it's normally, like, 3v3 at the start, but then once we've killed a two, we kind of, like, gang up on them. Normally in games, you're outnumbered. Like, you're normally you're stronger against a lot of people, but like here we have the three of us plus three familiars each, you know, so there's like 12 of us like <laughs> normally going after three familiars. <laughs> and there we go, we've got a load of new moves as well we can use. I might actually have a, a quick look, see if I can teach any of them now. Oh look, there's Ponto there, really low level. He hasn't got any equipment on him. I need to buy some equipment, look, there's nothing that I can equip for him. That's something that I'm going to have to give him, that will make him a bit better, he's a bit useless at the moment. Uh, let's, let's see what tricks he has. Uh, war cry and slingstone. You can have sand blast. A cloud of sand is whipped up, blinding a single enemy. I might, I might give him that. So they got slingstone, which is a bit better than pebble pelt, and then sand blast as well. There we go. Should be a little bit more useful. And look how many little leaves I've got following after me. Tidy. Looks like the door to the violet room's come unlocked. Right, let's go back to the violet room and look at them all bouncing behind me. Oh, what an awesome sight! There's so many of them now, <laughs> and I'm keeping them all safe. I'm being the mother, the mother fairy. And hello, how did you fit into the tummy? There's like a massive whale in here. Blah 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 blah. blah. <laughs> let's take him out. Some of these familiars look so awesome and friendly and funny. I kind of don't want to hurt them. Right, I think it's going to be pretty powerful though, so if I send out me and I uh, use... Um, I think I'll use Pulse on it. Uh, but I wish I had some sort of anti-water move or something. Oh, that properly owned me then. Right, have something to eat. You can have some, have, have a sandwich. That'll get your health back up. Oh, everyone's getting really hurt here. This is kind of a bit like an end boss now, isn't it, after all of these? Look, Esther's gone down already and Swain's really weak. I think I've been getting a, 
a little bit too comfortable here. I think I've been relaxing a bit too much. I'm getting owned now. Right, go on, Fruity. You can come out. And oh, look, Swain's down as well, and I'm getting attacked. Oh, no, 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 no. I need, I need to go back to Ollie. I think I might have to just stay as him so I can keep eating stuff. I'm getting properly owned here. Right, go on, Oliver. Go and get it up before you get attacked again. Right, I'm just going to have to use all of my magic against these guys. Um, spells. If I take out these guys first, I reckon. Um, yeah, if I take out these people, then I can just be one-on-one -on -one against the well, I guess. Uh, but it's, it's going to take a while just to kill these guys. I need to get my health up again already. I'll have a Tika Mahala. Quick, quick, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Right, go on, Fruity, you're up. Switch, 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 switch. Oh, what I could do, actually, is bring the my, my friends back. I don't know if it's worth it, though, because they died so quickly. I don't know whether it's worth bringing them back, because I think they might just keep dying again straight away. Right, there we go. I got, I got rid of one of them. I oh, know I haven't. I've just hurt him a lot. Go on, Fruity. Finish him off. Finish him off. Get up. Get up, mate. There we go. I've taken out one of them, guys. If I just be careful and make sure I defend at the right time, uh, I should be okay. Right, get your defend in. There we go. Oh, no, then he hit me again straight away. Right, I'm going to go back to Oliver and just have a, a quick little sandwich just so I got my health right up. I don't want to take any chances here. I'm really scared that I'm going to die or something. Um, right, if I send back out Fruity and let him use Smash Hit, because that seemed to work really well on the other hooray. And that should take that one out. There we go. I'm now one-on-one -on -one with the well. And I can kind of, like, work on defending and just focusing on him. It's proper powerful, though. I kind of didn't see it coming. I kind of just thought it would be one of the, the normal little ones. Right, you, you smash hit on it, I guess, while I'm waiting for my defense to get back up. My defend. Right, and now defend, 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 defend. I think he's going to hit me again. No, he's not. Right, okay. I need to switch out while he recharges. What have you got, Little Wink? Have you got anything that could hurt him? He's only really got healing tier. Right, I'm going to have to go back to Oliver, I guess, then. And um, I need to get my, my magic up. Uh, restores 200 health to all allies. That would have been useful earlier. Right, let's have, let's have a, a strong coffee, shall we? And get, get my magic back up. And then uh, I try using pulse or something up against it. Uh, actually, no, I think I'll send out fruit and make him use smash it. Oh, no, look, look how quickly he hurts me, though. I just get owned straight away. This is probably like a little boss. I really didn't expect it. I mean, I know it's quite big, but I didn't think it'd be quite as powerful as it is. Right, Fruity's fully recharged now. I can send him back out. And if I just get him to attack... Oh, it does quite a lot of damage. You see, it's doing, like, the um the orange writing there for the uh, how much I'm hurting it. I think that means, like, I'm effective against it. So if I just defend for a couple hits... There we go. Now I can go for, for a bit of an attack. There we go. Now I'm owning it. Like, it doesn't take that long to die, but it properly hurt me. I, I had to be careful... And lucky it's got a, a bunch more health here for me to grab. Right, finish it off, finish it off. Come on, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, look, there's one of those those gold things. I might as well get that, because I think that um, goes and heals everyone. So uh, that's worth getting anyway. And now I can finish it off with a little dance, with a little slash dance. <laughs> Go on, Fruity. Go on, make him into a well bait. Go on, take him out, cut his tail off. <laughs> it had like the tiniest amount of health left. This is kind of like overkill, but <laughs> I don't want to take any chances. I need to look after the littlies. <laughs> and uh, that gold thing got all of my health and MP up anyway, so it was worth grabbing. Well, that was a bit intense. That was a bit out of nowhere, going against the well. And then like loads of people leveled up. <laughs> all of Swain's familiars uh, leveled up, even though he was lying on the floor for the majority of the battle. <laughs> look at them all go. I think, like, everyone leveled. I think they all leveled up apart from my ones. <laughs> apart from the ones that I fed all of the uh, the food to. And look at them all! All here! All here! Tidy, 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 tidy! There is some proper good work there, you lot. Look at these littlies. They're all safe and sound. Are you sure? Thank goodness for that. Let's have a quick count up. One, two, three, four, five. All the littlies are alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then let them go again. There's eleven, there's a dozen. Hey, that's Bevan. He's my cousin. How do, man, Washi? There's the gang's all there. Tidy. <laughs> you rescued all, rescued all of the littlies. Jolly good. Blimey, rhymey, tidy, tidy, drippy, drippy. God, do they ever shut up? They're so annoying. How do we get rid of them? We take them to the exit, ain't it? There's a slide outside you go down, and that's the way just at the bottom by there. A slide? Why is there a slide? It's to remind them that they can slip and slide on the banana skins of life in here. <laughs> but when they get outside, the same stuff won't slide, ain't it? Typical man. That's it. She's a big fan of the old tough love. I have literally no idea what you're talking about. Are your fairies all completely mad? <laughs> I don't care what he means. I'm just looking forward to the slide. 
Oh, so to be young and simple and flexible. That sounds like it's going to hurt. Not long until the Littlies fairies are born. Let's take them to the exit. Go on then, Littlies. Let's let's get you out of here. And look at them all running around here. I've saved them all. <laughs> Jolly good. What a fun video this was. Hopefully you did enjoy it uh, as much as I did making it. But we have uh, about run out of time now. Uh, but there'll be a link in the description to the next part of my Let's Play up very soon. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye!